Hey everybody, here's my mess. Uh, finally got the oil pan off and all the piston and rod assemblies out of the engine. Might be hard to see, but they're all off. Uh, got the oil pump sitting on that bucket there. Need to get it moved and put up. But I was gonna bring you up top here just to take a look. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary in any of these cylinders that I could find. There's one little spot here in number three, just below the ports. Maybe you can see it. I don't know if we got a little moisture in there or if that's just where the piston was when it had been sitting for the 15 years before I got it, but uh, really all the cylinders are nice and shiny, but we do have a ring ridge up at the top. So I don't see any cross hatching anywhere except for just a little bit right here on the side of number one. I don't know if you can even catch it, but we've definitely got some wear up here. So I'll bring you down here. Here's all six pistons and rods, one through six. Uh, only thing I found on these, number five, we're missing a chunk of compression ring here on number five. And something else that I've noticed on this thing that kind of bothers me, maybe it's not a big deal. A lot of the rings don't seem to be offset hardly at all. It's like uh, some of these right here, these two, these are two oil rings here and they're offset, what, quarter of an inch? Some of the other ones, look at these compression rings here, barely offset. Uh, these two here on number two are lined up. Uh, number one, they're lined up, so I don't know. Maybe it's a personal preference thing here. Look at these oil control rings. Uh, number two, three of them lined up, so I don't know. I'll have to get the, get the service manual out here, but it looks to me like the oil rings are worn and we have wear in our sleeve, so hoping that's the problem. Well, uh, I'll get this cleaned up some more and get the sleeves out and we'll uh, have another video coming up. Thanks. Hey guys, we're back again. Thought I'd uh, bring you in and see what else we've got done here on the HD20 project. All the rods and pistons disassembled here. Got one liner out with my handy little tool that had a friend of mine make. I don't have any of the special Detroit diesel tools, but uh, no harder than these come out. That was no problem. So uh, here we go. Get you a shot in here. You can see some wear on the wrist pins. So it was time, but I thought I'd do a little comparison here. This is a liner, uh, five inch bore, pretty good size, but just to give you a comparison of some other Alice Chalmers equipment here. This is a D19 diesel piston. Look at that up against the HD20. Pretty big size difference. Uh, this one here, this is a 190 XT. Look at the size difference. So this is 262 cubic inch diesel, 301 cubic inch diesel, and of course the 6110, 660 cubes. Uh, I think for the most part, I've pretty much got everything together as far as what I need. There's some rod bearings. I uh, got the crank mic'd and located some bearings. And I think, of course, I already had all these uh, pistons and liners. I already had uh, enough of these to do uh, before I ever tore this down. So I made sure that I had those parts because I was afraid that this thing was just going to be worn out of spec. And that's what the oil usage problem was. So pretty much convinced that that's what the issue was. But the one last piece of the puzzle was the cylinder head. I had some injector cups 
that I was worried about. I found evidence of some water on the top when I pulled her down. So been looking all over to try and find somebody that would work on this thing. And lo and behold, I did. So getting it on a pallet here to get sent off. And by the time this thing comes back, should have all new liners and pistons and bearings in that engine ready to go. And then we'll just slap this puppy on and get you that much closer to finishing it up. So uh, nothing new on the dozer itself to report, I guess. But anyways, just wanted to uh, give a shout out to Lead Diesel. They, uh, they're the ones that are going to reman this head for me, so glad to find somebody. But uh, anyways, I guess that's all for now. Bye.